Diagwyf, tha ced mil a falta roiv cwig an Sherminus Bunta came in the show. Greetings from the Public Theatre or Exam Hall of the College of the Holy and Undivided Trinity of Queen Elizabeth near Dublin. I'm Brendan Tagney and as registrar I welcome you the graduates and your friends and family to this graduation ceremony. I was going to say that these are strange times we find ourselves living in, but 12 months into this pandemic and no clear exit in sight, social distancing, lockdown and Zoom land are in many ways the new normal. So it's no surprise we find ourselves here doing a graduation ceremony in this format. Some things work well in this medium, but others less so. The online event does fulfill the formal aspect of the ceremony, but will only go some way towards replicating the vibe of being on campus with friends, classmates and family. I'd like to make a few points before we begin the formal ceremony. Commencement ceremonies were actually meetings of the University Senate and are presided over by the caput, or head, led today by a pro-chancellor of the University, Dr. Higgy McGovern, who is joined on the caput by the provost of the college, Dr. Patrick Prendergast, and the senior master non-regent, Professor Kevin Devine. The senior proctor who will present graduates to the Senate is Professor Werner Blau. The pro-chancellor and myself are in the public theater together with Mr. Joe Mockler, the mace bearer, while the rest of the participants join remotely. We'll say a little more about the formal ceremony shortly, but first, the Pro-Chancellor has a few remarks he would like to make. It is a pleasure to welcome you all to this spring commencement ceremony, but especially those soon to be graduates of the University of Dublin. During your time here as a student, you probably noticed earlier commencements, or at least their aftermath as the new graduates emerged from the examination hall. There would have been a great buzz in front square as they were reunited with classmates and with family and close friends. The officiating chancellor or pro-chancellor could only hope to chat with a small fraction of that gathering. And so I'm happy that to have this opportunity to speak as it were to everyone. It is less likely that you would have had witnessed the formal ceremony inside the hall. Ordinarily, each candidate would be limited to two guests. The unusual circumstances today have, in principle, enlarged that audience. And I hope that wherever you are, there are family members with you to share this special occasion. And I want to join with you in acknowledging the significant support that they have given you. Your dedication to study has been important to the university. A university without students would be a pallid affair. You may have heard the term teaching and learning and possibly saw this as a case of them and us. But it is more nuanced than that. The crowd that should have been in front square today would have included some of your professors acknowledging their debt to you. Finally, I want to emphasize that despite its restricted format, this ceremony has the same status as that of all the others in the more than four centuries of the University of Dublin. This connection with the past notwithstanding, the very word commencements points firmly to new beginnings. So I offer you my congratulations on your academic success, fully confident that you will build on that success for a happy and rewarding future. What is the purpose of a ceremony? Well, one is that it's an opportunity to publicly and formally celebrate some event or achievement. 
And the criticism of our modern fully connected world is that we are always on and go from one activity to another without a break, or worse still, multiplex and try to do several things simultaneously. I would encourage you to take this ceremony as an opportunity to pause and reflect and acknowledge the significance of what you have achieved in obtaining your degree and the extent to which it marks the closing of one chapter and the beginning of another in your life. In marking the occurrence of significant events, ceremonies encourage us to take a long-term view of things. You are not the first to be graduated from this public theater, which is over 300 years old, and you will not be the last. This is not to diminish the occasion, but rather to position today and your achievement in that long arc of tradition and mark your formal entry into the Trinity alumni community, which transcends space and time. In marking the occurrence of significant events, ceremonies encourage us to take the long-term view. You are not the first to be graduated from this theatre, which is over 300 years old, and you are not the last. This is not to diminish the occasion, but rather to position today and your achievement in that long arc of tradition and mark your formal entry into the Trinity alumni community, which transcends space and time. You are entering college history as the COVID graduates. As previously stated, the formal ceremony is to follow is a meeting of the Senate of the University of Dublin at which you, the graduates, will have your degrees conferred upon you. Following a tradition that stretches back to the origins of the university, our commencement ceremonies are conducted entirely in Latin. The Latin ceremony recognizes the university's historic past, reflecting a heritage shared with the oldest universities of Europe. Latin was the language of learning and debate all across Europe when these first universities were the seedbed of scholarship and enlightenment. Within the universities at the time, Latin was the language of study, the language of philosophy and the sciences, of law and of all the professions. And that shared language, long before the World Wide Web, allowed the exchange of scholars and ideas between universities, transcending the boundaries of empire and religion in old Europe. As far as this ceremony today is concerned, it is by continuing to use Latin that we acknowledge our heritage, the intellectual foundations of the modern Western world, and the debt we owe to scholars and to scholarship of former times. The formal ceremony will be opened by the pro-chancellor with the salvete or welcome. This will be followed by the reading of the University Senate minutes, which relate to the last degree awarding meeting of the Senate, i.e. the last commencement ceremony which took place. The senior proctor will then ask the caput to approve the awarding of degrees. The mace bearer then calls for a vote by members of the Senate and the chancellor asks for agreement of those present, which is given by the response, plaquette, it is agreed. The senior proctor will then present each degree and call out the names of the candidates, commending them to the pro-chancellor for admittance to the degree. The pro-chancellor will then admit the named candidates. The pro-chancellor will close the ceremony, bidding us all farewell with the words of the Walete, or goodbye. I now hand us over to the pro-chancellor to begin the formal ceremony. Salvete senatores omnes, domini doctores, domini magistri. Salvete candidate signores. Salvete hospites undique hic benignissime congregati. Comitia fiant in nomine Dei. Amen. Comitia Vernalia, Termino Sancti Hilari. Prima postmeridiana, Cortus, Habita die, Vicesimo secondo Aprilis, Anno Domini, Millesimo secondo Vicesimo primo, Caput Senatus, Pro Cancellarius, Ignatius Thomas McGovern, Magister in Artibus, 
Prepositors. Patricus Johannes Prendergast, Dr. Inskientes. Senior Magister non Regens, Comgedum Martinum Divine, Doctor in Philosophia. Procurator Senior, Bernus Josephus Blau, Doctor in Scientis. Registarius, Dionysus Brendanus Tangni, Magister in Scientis. Gradus Seniores, Solemni Modo Calatus Sunt. Examinatone Habita, in Album Senatus Referenda. Registarius Kurovit. Re honorabilis pro cancellariae totaque universitas. Supplicant reverences vestrisei, qui in, carti, in his cartis pre manipus nostri sunt nominantur, ut his comitiis ad gradum supernominate signatum admitantur. Eco fide mea testo ac spontio toti academiae, unum quemque candidaturum his cartis nominatum, omnia exercitia ad gradum, ad quem unus quisque aspirat, Pertinencia pro legibus academicis rite complevisse. Ad scrutinium. Placet ne vobis domini doctores. Placet. Placet ne vobis domini magistri. Placet. Placet omnibus. In absentia. Magistri in opera sociali. Dylan Barry Magistri in Utroque Jure Anand Aditi Jane Nupur Jan Peyun Magister in Sciences Ökonomicis. Ja, oui. Magistri in Educatione. Album Kerke, Dies Luis Silva Gomez de. Bin Abdul Latif Mohamed Laki Blutfi. Brennan Simon John Butler Thomas Collins Daniel Patrick Current Connor Dockery James Francis Durley Esther Rohan Jessica Dignan Rachel Austin Farrell Teresa Fitzgibbon Grace Mary Gong Shi Kiao Guo Lian Lian Hake Mazuma Arkan Deirdre Ann Harrington John Martin Howell Yvonne Sarah James Corin Leoli Line Lanigan David Li Xiao Dan Lolem Bena Line Joan Ma Lin Makalini Kira Maloney Benjamin Ian McWalters Blohin 
Milovsky Josh Moran Kira Maurice Stephanie O'Neill Shu O'Brien Neve Ki Jia Jia Roy Jill Singleton Taylor Song Guan Grong Rafias Lauren Alexandra Van Hoff Hannah Elizabeth Venkatesh Annapurna Whelan Catherine Yan Xiao Shu Yang Xiao Ting Ye Jian Zhou Zhang Jin Ru Zhang Yin Magister in Studies Negotialibus Aurora Namandip Magister in Scienzi Studia Arten Chelsea Aston Desmond Banga Gitika Barpaya Ajvini Barga Bazrur Palavi Gureyo Emanuela Cheng Kian Tian Costello Nile Demirel Perzem Duggan Brendan Patrick Foss Melissa Julia Gedenice Irakli Green Josephine Guerret Julie Hayden David Jiang Gu Yue Jin Yu Ting Kothial Kavya Li Sheng Di Li Si Wei Yu Jin Ji Mela Ashlyn Miao Zhu Ye Musrafiri Tadi Vakilaza Margaret Tadei Pan Wan Ki Riffle Julia Saini Sohini Segerström Veronica Shen Yang Wang Meng Yin Wang Zhu Wang Xiao Hua Zhang Xinyi 
Zhang Yi. Zhang Zi Zhen. Zhao Yu. Zhuang Liang Jin. Zhuang Yuan. Magister in Sciences Indagatio. Akinolio Gekalb Engin. Alherts Mohammed. Hor Brendan. Myrta Eva Marie Josephine. Perez Denia Marta. Schmidt Amanda. Magistin Artipus Jure Officii. Costello Paul. Magistri in Artipus. Austin Fiona Mary. Baron Kevin. Bernson Sunny. Butler Derek. Crowley Eva Doyle Quaylon Farrell John Joseph Francis Finley Column Fleming Owen Francis David Foreign Alex Garvey, Sylvie, Patricia, Holly, Susan, Julef, Andrew, John, Gerrand, Kelly, Mark, Patrick, O'Reilly, Stephen, Smith, Kevin, John, Magister in Educazione Negozialis. Burke Shannon. Donahue, Sarah Catherine. Gannon, Amy. Kearney, Ruth. Lawless Adam, Levens Leanne, McCabe Ashley, O'Reilly Lisa, Ring Sarah Jane, Pre honorabilis pro cancellaria totaque universitas. Commendo vobis filios meos de gentes peregre, quorum nomina recitata sunt supplicationesque placo erunt. Vos sio, tam moribus quam doctrina habiles et idonios esse, ut ad gradus quos petunt admetantur. Ego auctoritate mihi concessa, Admito candidatos de gentes per egre. Quorum nomina recitata supplicationesque placuerunt. Proet quisque meruit. In ad incipiendum, in opera sociali, in utroque jure, in scientiis ueco nom ices, in educatione, in studiis negotialibus, in scientiis studia, in scientiis indagatio, in artibus jure officii, 
in artibus, et in educatione negotialis. Valete senatores, non diutius vos morabimur. Valete candidati nois honoribus decorati. Valete ad vos hospites acceptissimi. Comitia solvantur, in nomine patris et filii et spiritus sancti.